Today is September 16th, on which we commemorate Ninian, Bishop at Galloway. In the Roman mind, the farthest frontier of the world was the borderland of England and Scotland. There ended the empire and civilization. Just beyond that border lay the home of the Picts, a people regarded as fearsome and barbaric by the Romans. It was to these people, on the edges of humanity, that Ninian went. Little for certain is known about Ninian. The Venerable Bede, the first to mention him in writing about AD 730, even claims that his sources are unconfirmed. It is said that he was a Roman Briton, born in northern England. He traveled to Rome and there received an education and ordination. Then he spent time with Martin of Tours, the great bishop, monk, and missionary, whose life and work would become the model of Ninian's mission. After Martin died in AD 397, Ninian, now a bishop, traveled back to his homeland to bring the gospel to the Picts. Living at times in a seaside cave, he established a Christian community in Galloway called Whithorn, dedicated to Martin of Tours. From there, he preached to the Picts and other people throughout northern England and up the Scottish coasts. Some accounts then send Ninian on a mission to Ireland. Others say that he died and was buried in Whithorn. Only very late accounts give this day around AD 430 as the date of his death. It seems that while Ninian did have some success in his lifetime in converting the Picts, that they fell away from the faith after his death. Writing only decades after Ninian's life, St. Patrick calls the Picts apostate, meaning they had once been Christian, but had abandoned the faith. There would not be another bishop in Galloway until the late 7th century. Though other missionaries in other centuries would be called to finish Ninian's work, that in no way detracts from the legacy of a man who brought the love of Christ to a people that his culture feared and disregarded. Let us pray. O God, by the preaching of your blessed servant and bishop Ninian, you cause the light of the gospel to shine in the land of Britain. Grant, we pray, that having his life and labors in remembrance, we may show forth our thankfulness by following the example of his zeal and patience through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.